Hey, this is Jeff Rose. Welcome back to GoodFinancialSense.com, where I'm helping people make sense of their investments and financial planning situations. Today, I want to address another common question I get when it comes to a lot of my clients that are retiring or very close to retirement. And the question is, Jeff, how do we take care of the taxes whenever we're taking distributions out of our IRAs? It's a very uh, common question I get. And most typically why I get that question is because whenever they're talking to their HR department, you know, with their 401ks or pension, they're commonly told that they're going to, if they do a distribution from there, that they're going to withhold 20% on federal income tax. And that's typically an IRS standard where if you're taking a distribution from a 401k or pension, you know, by standard, that's how much they're going to withhold. So they just assume that that's how much that we're going to withhold on our end. And that's not the case. Whenever you actually roll the, your pension or 401k into an IRA, you then now can decide how much tax you want to have with him. And let me give you an example. A lot of clients that do retire with me, now that you've retired, your, your income is, is going to be different. Maybe you've retired at the beginning of the year, so you have no other wages other than your retirement income. Then that will be pretty easy to gauge you know, what the federal income tax that you owe. But let's say you've been working for three or six months of that year, so now you've got some W-2 wages for you know, that, that period of time, and now you tack on the IRA distributions, well, then we'll have to kind of re-guesstimate you know, what your tax bracket might be. So we, we might want to withhold more than that typical 20%. Uh, percent. But for the most part, I, I usually do have my clients withhold 20% on the federal income tax side just because it's the first year and we don't know exactly how much taxes that we'll have to pay at the end of the year. So 20% is kind of a safe number. But after that first year, uh, we can actually kind of gauge, like, was that too much? And if it is, we can actually re, uh, recalculate that and, and uh, nip it down. And I have one client in particular that after their first year of retirement, you know, I think we were doing 20% initially. Well, he was actually able to go back after that year, and now we're having 17%. Uh, withheld from his and that's so that's uh, the perfect amount that he needs to have withheld so he knows uh, he owes no federal income tax at the end of the year now each as you can imagine each situation is going to be different and here's the other thing is that you don't even have to have taxes withheld on your distributions as far as if you're getting a monthly paycheck from your IRAs you can actually settle up at the end of the year and the IRS you know you'll get your 1099 that shows you know how much was distributed out of your IRA and if you've had nothing withheld through that whole calendar year, then you'll just tack that on whenever you do your taxes, and then you'll find out how much taxes you actually owe. I will say for the most part, I don't think any of my clients actually do that. If I have, it might be just one, uh, but typically they like to just have some of it taken out, and it just goes on the side kind of like an escrow account to where it's just there uh, to where the IRS has a record of how much taxes you had withheld so that at the end of the year you're not having to pony up uh, you know, extra cash to pay for that. So that's how easy we set up. It's just a form. Uh, it's on the form that we set up to, to get your distributions going. Uh, and that's really how simple it is. That's how we figure out how much uh, tax you have withheld on your IRA distribution. So I hope that answers that question. If you have any other questions, please feel free to hit me up on the blog, uh, goodfinancialsense.com. Got um, tons of stuff there. I've got more going on, more videos to come. So thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.